So the last part of this topic is to talk about what do we do um, when we need to do calculations with measurements. One has to understand that the most accurately you can know any calculation is as accurately as you know your worst measurement. So you could have 10 measurements that reach near the level of perfection. And if you have one measurement with extreme uncertainty, any calculations involving that uncertain measure will uh, leave you with an answer that is um, significantly uncertain. So when we do calculations, um, we need to do calculations tracking significant figures with a set of rules. There are two broad types of calculations um, that we're going to introduce here. The so-called arithmetic um, addition and subtraction and the geometric calculations multiplication and division. There are two different sets of rules and you need to understand which type of problem you're dealing with when you uh, do these calculations. So let's start with the arithmetic. Calculations involving sig digs with addition and subtraction. Your answer should have the same number of decimal places as the measurement with the least. Um, this is one way to think about it. Another way to think about it is you can only have one estimated digit in your answer. And so you have to track where that estimated digit would be. And so let's take this little plot we have here in the bottom left corner of the screen. Um, it is, say, for instance, a garden plot. And we want to put up some kind of a fencing, so we need to know a perimeter. Well, a perimeter would be the sum of all of the sides. So you would add... Uh, two 12.34s, uh, you would add two 5.1s. Um, all of those are in meters, of course, and then we would add up to get um, the total perimeter around this object. So we might get 34.88. However, this measurement, 12.34, has four significant digits, and the four is the estimated digit. 5.1 has two significant digits, and the one is the estimated digit. So as we look across the bottom here, uh, 34.88, we need to think about which of these numbers are estimated and which are certain. Well, this first eight all the way on the right comes from adding up two estimated digits. So at best, that measurement is going to be an estimate. These two threes here in the first two measurements are certain digits, but the 0.1 on each of the 5.1s is an estimated digit. So even if the threes are certain, if you're adding them to an estimate, you get another estimated digit. That's two estimated digits, and that, of course, is not allowed. Everything you know for certain plus one estimated digit, but let's keep going. Um, the four is the sum of four certain digits, so the four would be a certain digit. Um, and the three, after we carry that digit over, is also a certain digit. So we are certain, certain, estimated, estimated, but you are only allowed one estimated digit in a measurement or a calculation for measurement. So we're going to have to round this number off um, to the tenths place. We do want to look at this next digit, this eight that is uncertain, because that tells us whether or not we need to round up or round down. The best we can know this perimeter is 34.9 meters. Okay? You can only have as good an answer as your worst measurement, and our worst measurement here is rounded off in the tenths place. That means our answer needs to be rounded off to the tenths place. So that's how you do addition and subtraction. For the geometric calculations, your answer should be rounded to the highest. Oh, sorry. We're still on uh, arithmetic here, addition and subtraction. This is the other way to think about it. Your answer should be rounded to the highest place value that contains an estimated digit. So again, if we uh, sometimes what I like to do is underline all of the estimated digits, and then I just drag my pencil across my page from right to left until I get to the last um, digit in my answer that has something underlined. You're only allowed one estimated digit in your answer. All right, let's go to multiplication and division. This is the geometric calculations. Um, we have our same plot here, but now instead of putting some fencing around it, maybe we want to... Um, Maybe we want to lay out some mulch or we want to put a weed barrier um, and we need to know the area of um, that plot. And so area is length times width. We have 12.34 meters times 5.1 meters. Um, the answer should have the same number of significant fig figures as the measurement with the least. So addition and subtraction is looking at decimal place. Multiplication and division is looking at the total number of significant digits. So if we do our math, and you always want to do the math with the calculator, and then write out whatever the calculator says. So 12.34 times 5.1 to get an area. We want to think about what the units would have to be here. If we have meters times meters, we end up with meters squared. 
And then you need to look at how many significant digits are in your measurements. Well, here we have four and here we have two, which means my answer can only have two significant digits. I'm gonna count them off one, two, and then I'm gonna use that nine to tell me I need to round up. So the best we can know the area, given the uncertainty and our length and width measurements, is at 63 meters squared. So that's how you do your calculations uh, with arithmetic, uh, arithmetic calculations. So let's do one quick practice problem here, um, and there will be other opportunities that we'll give you guys for practice. Um, but let's look at this blue triangle here, and let's ask the question, what is the area of this triangle? So I want you to stop first, think about um, what is the uh, equation for area of a triangle. Um, and then I want you to go ahead and do the calculation, round your answer off to the correct number of significant digits. Make sure you think about the units, um, pause the video, give it a shot, and then we'll go through the uh, problem together. Pause it. Okay, so if you took a second and you calculated this out, hopefully you remembered that the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height or base times height over two. Um, so we're gonna plug our numbers in. Area is one half, 9.20 centimeters times 18.37 centimeters. The one half is part of the equation. It is exactly one half the base times the height. So that has an infinite number of sig digs. Your 9.20 has um, three sig digs and your 18.37 has four sig digs. So you wanna multiply your base times your height. You wanna divide that by two. Let's go ahead and write the number down. Wanna think about what your units would have to be. And you should have centimeters squared. By the way, any area surface area, area of a triangle, area of a circle, area of a rectangular prism. Any area is going to be some unit of length squared. We have to round this thing now to three significant digits, so we're gonna count one, two, and three, and then the zero tells us to round down and keep the five a five. So we get area equals 84.5 centimeters squared, and that's how we do calculations with significant digits.